Hey guys, Kel with Swanye again, another quick tutorial on how to do this image black and white layover. So sometimes people would do this because they feel like the aesthetic of the page isn't correct or maybe as you can see over here, you can't really see the text. So we're gonna do a rollover and it's gonna be super easy. So unfortunately with Show It, from what I can tell is you don't have that ability to be able to do it with just one photo. So we basically have to create the black and white photo and then overlay it on the colored photo. So I did mine in Lightroom. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our media library and you can see all of the black and white photos. And we are going to select the same one that is the colored one. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually make the box smaller or the image smaller and then highlight both of the, of the images and match the size so that way they're exact and then I'm gonna align them to the middle and to the middle again. While it's selected, I'm just gonna kind of eye it for right now but since this is perfect, I'm going to also add in that to the group and we're gonna align it to the top. You can kind of tell that it is a bit shit on that side, so we're just gonna move it kind of and eye it. Now you can see that both of these graphics are, are not, you've missed basically the text box, so we're gonna put it down to the bottom, so then the text box is, text boxes and the text is over the top of the image. Then what we're gonna do is we're going to make a hover action over the black and white, so we're going to Make sure that the black and white is clicked and we are going to go to the hover section over here and click custom. Um, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna change the opacity to zero and you can change the time to however you want. And then you are going to test it in preview. Sometimes it takes a little bit of time to kind of convert, but Oh, yes. So now you can see that when you hover over the top of it, it is there, but you can t also tell that I did not create the size and positioning in the correct order. So click on the black and white and just make sure it's the same size and position, which I'm pretty sure that's there. Let's just check the other graphic. Yep. So that should be all good now. One more time. Yep. So now when you hover over it, it'll change the color. You can do this the opposite way. You can also do it on text boxes in terms of just like color, whatever you feel like you want an overlay, go for gold. Um, also just remember that if you do have a click action on your colored photo, which goes to a specific page, you make sure that you just do it onto the black and white, just in case that the site, um, you know, it ends up being black and white or whatever. Hope this helps. Let me know what you think and have a good day.